Hi, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. And we have a guest today because the film we're reviewing is called Seven Psychopaths. And there's a little shih tzu in the film called Bonnie. And because the film had a shih tzu, we decided to have our little Pekingese with us today. This is actually an, uh, an open audition for anybody <laughs> looking for a Pekingese. Yeah, and you're wondering why he's wearing this mask. Well, this they gave uh, they gave these ridiculous little hats uh, out to everybody, so we thought we'd I put it we on Mango. Get to work here. Yeah, I think so too. We here he is. Anyway, I have to say, Seven Psychopaths is freaking fantastic. It's the Reservoir Dogs of of the 21st century. Yeah. Yeah, but wasn't Reservoir Dogs in the 21st century? Oh, no, no, it was 1910. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, okay, it's written and directed by Martin McDonough, that fantastic Irish playwright who also is wrote... In Brogue? In, is it in Brogue or in Bruges? In whichever you prefer. Okay, I'll say in Bruges. And I'll say in Brogue. Oh, my God. First of all, the film is filled with tour de force, tour de force yeah, performances. It's, it's, it's really what makes the film so great is that you have... These 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 really incredible actors who are just coming into their own, and the film lets them just sh show Shine. their stuff. Well, first of all, Christopher Walken is in it. He's extraordinary. Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell have never been better. Colin Farrell, and there's an uh, an appearance by Tom Waits, who's so good. And you know what, what's so great is that this is. From a directorial standpoint, you're working with all these actors uh, and you just let them go insane. And basically the story is Chris Walken and Sam Rockwell are dog nappers. See? They kidnap dogs and then they bring them back to the owners for reward money. But what happens is they wind up uh, kidnapping the wrong dog. They kidnap... Of a, of a mafia. Of a um, mafia guy played by Woody Harrelson, who's totally a psychopath. And they kidnap his so, beloved so, little so body. All the other characters. Yeah, there's seven psychopaths. And R Colin Farrow is this dude that has writer's block. And uh, Sam Rockwell is his uh, BFF, best friend forever, who tries to help him. This mm -hmm. film has so many twists, so many turns. You, 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 just when you think you know where it's going... It goes somewhere else. It's, it's really, it's really a well-structured story. Oh my God! It's next to Perks of Being a Wallflower. This so far is my favorite film of 2012. And if there's anybody watching that needs a Pekingese, well, we already did that. Let's do it again. <laughs> let's get the baby. Okay, here's Mango. Okay, I am giving seven psychopaths. I am giving it. Five bagels with lox, cream cheese, capers, the works, because... John, you are totally suffocating the Okay, stars. this was a perfect movie, and here's your bagels, honey. Now, you tell people how many you're giving. I'm going to give... Which better be a lot. Go ahead. Four bagels. Four bagels out of five. Okay, and if Mango could speak, he would give it five bagels as well. Uh, right? Mango, how many bagels? He Woo! gives it dog bones. He gives it five dog bones. The film opens in theaters this Friday, October 12th. Do not miss it. Please subscribe to us at our YouTube channel. Like us on our Two Jews on Film Facebook page. And you can listen to us at iTunes at jcastnetwork.org. And if you're feeling psycho, go see Seven Psychopaths. <laughs> or 